I right, just want to do a video on my toolbox set up here at home. Um, this video is going to be for insurance purposes as well. Uh, just a little layout of what I have here. The black box on top is a 26 inch Clark Premium brand. I bought that over 10 years ago back in high school and I quickly grew out of it and I was in search of a bottom rolling tool chest. Um, back then I didn't really have the funds to be buying a brand new one and I didn't want anything too big and bulky just for it being in a garage so I started looking on Craigslist and I found this one. It's a Waterloo Professional 41 inch by 18 deep uh, 12 drawer and it works great. Uh, the only downfall to it is it's got friction slides for the drawers except for the top wide drawer that one's ball bearings but as long as you keep the rest of the drawers lubed up they work perfectly fine. Um, I am not a professional by any means. I don't consider myself a mechanic. I just I try to work on my my truck and my wife's car um, before I have to bring it anywhere to get fixed. Uh, I have a motorcycle I work on as well and I do some racing in the summer so I usually have a race car sitting in the garage here throughout the summer and doing constant maintenance to that week in and week out. So um, let's get into it. I'll show you what I got in here. So on the top of my black box, I keep all my impact sockets. Uh, the ones that are in the peg trays are all half inch deep and shallow, metric and standard. <clears throat> um, they're just a no-name brand. And then the deeps down here in this tray are 3 a's metric and standard. And I also keep my snap-on 3 a's up here. Um, I haven't used it in a while. I think the batteries are going to shit on me, so... Um, kind of looking into trying to get them batteries fixed and see if it will work for me again. But in these drawers, it's kind of some random things. I got just my hand rivet gun with some rivets in here. I just keep grease and thread locker and JB Weld gasket maker stuff like that in there. And that's just like a junk drawer. In this drawer, I keep all my hex bits and torx bits. Um, I got these two sets off of Amazon a few years back, and they were good. Uh, I think I paid 12 bucks for each set. Torx, not, nothing's broke yet except for one. The end of it's kind of twisting on me, but uh, they're holding up so far. So that was my Torx, and then here's the hex bit set. And then I just got some cheap Harbor Freight Pittsburgh folding hex, and some more hex keys here. And, um, Holding Torx bits here. And then these two cases are uh, kind of like a security bit set. Got this from a thrift store a little while ago. Just some cheap drill bits and some spade bits in there. They're just five bucks each, so I just thought I'd grab them. This one's kind of similar to that Harbor Freight security bit set in a way. Not as packed full of them, but. That's everything I keep in that drawer. This is just a mixture of different odds and ends. I got zip ties, springs, and some old regulator gauges for my air compressor, some parts for my Harley, um, mechanic spring or wire here, and then just other odds and ends, just mainly junk or everything in there. And in the bottom drawer, I kind of just keep my automotive tools, if you will. I got jumper cables, uh, Different oil filter wrenches and cup wrenches. Um, scan tool, just a cheap one. Battery, terminal cleaner, and some valve sim tools, spark plug gappers, stuff like that in there. So that's everything I keep in my top box. So the first drawer in my bottom box is all my sockets. I got a variety of all different brands in here. It's some junk stuff, some nice quality stuff. Um, everything on the left side is all metric, everything on the right side standard. As you can see, half inch, three eighths, and quarter on each side. Um, as far as my metric goes, the short little uh, set of deeps I have here are just Pittsburgh. Uh, the shorts are all snap on. If you can see that or not. Um, the three eighths are all Craftsman, six points, 
deep and shallow. And then um, the quarter for the metric is a mixture of Stanley and Craftsman for the deeps and then all the shorts are snap-on. And in the center here, I just have a Craftsman 12 point set for a quarter inch drive. I had to get these to do the calipers on my bike. So I got them sitting in that tray. Um, standard, again, half inch back here. Uh, all the deeps are Craftsman. Shallows are Allen, USA made. And then uh, the three is or Craftsman, and these are the same as the metrics over there that came in a set that I bought a while back. Uh, deep and shallow, 12 points. Kind of sucks they're 12 points, but they work for me. Uh, and again, the quarter inch over here is a mixture of Stanley, Craftsman, and some other oddballs thrown in there to make a set. I just picked up these extended hex ball ends from uh, Harbor Freight, their Icon brand. Uh, they're pretty nice. I, I got them to take the headers off the race car. It's a lot easier when you have an extended hex bit to get in there on them studs going into the heads. Then I just got some bits over here for my quarter inch impact and drill bit holder or uh, bit holder. And then over here I got uh, my extensions and adapters and swivels and stuff like that. Half inch, three inch and quarter. Uh, it's a mixture of Husky and Craftsman and some other stuff in there. And then just a Craftsman quarter inch socket driver. And as far as my ratchets go, I got a half inch Pittsburgh flex head. I got a great neck half inch Duralast flex head 3 ace 72 tooth. Uh, my snap on 3 ace is pretty much my go-to. I use this for just about everything. And then another snap on 3 ace without the soft grip on there. And then some longer extensions of 3 ace and a half inch wobble. I think that was part of the Husky set that I had. And then uh, my long breaker bar. And then another Pittsburgh quarter inch snap on quarter inch with the long handle on it. And just a cheap Craftsman quarter inch. So that's everything I got in my socket drawer. Wrenches, pretty self explanatory. I got uh, ratchet wrenches on the left and combination on the right. Uh, all the ratcheting are blue points. Metrics up here, standard down here. Um, mixture of blue point um, extras that came from this set over here with some other smaller oddball wrenches in there. And then uh, the combination wrenches are all snap-on, um, standard and metric down here. Screwdrivers. <clears throat> I think this snap-on set was my first tool truck purchase. Um, I've had it for quite a while now. Snap-on punch and chisel holder, cheap impact screwdriver from Harbor Freight. I never use it. Uh, some larger Titan picks with the striking end on them, some smaller Craftsman picks, and then a uh, mixture of different types of snap-on screwdrivers that weren't really in a set at all. So all my players in here. Again, another drawer of odds and ends in here. Uh, Mixture of Milwaukee, Cobalt, Stanley, Vice Grips, some Harbor Freight stuff. Um, Milwaukee, Vice Grips, uh, Milwaukee Channel, Channel Locks, uh, Craftsman Channel Locks. Two extended needle noses from Harbor Freight, and then back to the Milwaukee uh, needle nose and a side cutter. Uh, snap on side cutter and slip joint, Cobalt set, different variety of players, and then uh, these two are Stanley, and then uh, vice grips needle nose, and then some standard vice grips and a little bit of larger one. And I got some older Craftsman adjustables made in the USA, and then a Pittsburgh adjustable over there. Some uh, Wiss shears, pretty nice. I use them for making the race car bodies. And then I got this Pittsburgh straight cut shears, and then a C-clamp door panel tool and a seaming tool they also use for making the bodies. So that's everything I got in my player drawer. Just gonna move 
this back a little bit here. Hammers, dead blow, some sledge hammers, small and large, mallets, claw hammers, uh, Pittsburgh punch and chisel set. I'm sure everybody's got one of them. A uh, little file set from Harbor Freight and some cheater bars. Kind of dedicate this drawer to just the larger cases. Um, I got two Blue Point <coughs> bull saw sets, a large and a small here. Harbor Freight compression tester. I used it once, it didn't read correctly, I don't think. Uh, I usually keep my battery tender in here, but it's on my motorcycle battery at the moment. Uh, Harbor Freight Pittsburgh half inch torque wrench. Nice Blue Point tap and die set. And then um, half inch socket and ratchet set down there. This is kind of becoming my obsolete drawer. I don't really use much of air tools anymore. Um, if anything, it's going to just be my, my die grinder, my air sander. Uh, I got a snap on cutoff wheel here. Kind of just going the battery route nowadays, just like everybody else. Just a mixture of cutoff wheels and wire brushes and sanding discs. I got a Dremel engraver down there. Uh, older half inch impact down there I never use anymore. Onto the smaller drawers. Just another junk drawer. Kind of like a measuring drawer. Digital caliper from Pittsburgh. Uh, another thing I've used once or twice. I think the batteries are junk in it. Um, tape measures, label maker. I got some cleaning brushes and another cheap set of picks in here. Some rulers and staples, stuff like that. So all my drill bits. Um, some are good, some are bad. Uh, older Milwaukee set, missing a lot of them. There's some nice ones from a machine shop my buddy works at, along with these in here. These are some older ones. It's a Milwaukee set. I think about half of them are already snapped. I'll never buy them again. Um, Craftsman bit set. And the Craftsman bolt extractor. Another tap and die set from Harbor Freight. I'll, I'll use that if I want to break something before I use that uh, blue point. And then some more drill bits in here. Kind of dedicated to electrical. It's just a rat's nest if you ask me. I just got fuses and connectors and extra wire, stripper and wire tester, loom. I used to keep my power tools down in this drawer, but uh, since then I've changed that setup. So I just kind of threw some cases I don't use anymore and um, usually have gloves and knee pads and stuff in here. So I got the bottom box. On to the last portion of the box. Uh, for a while I've been looking for some sort of side cabinet that I can attach to the box. And I, I wasn't having much luck over the years finding something that would fit right. Um, I did find one a month ago and I was gonna buy it, but I kind of backed out of it. It was just a little too big for the size of my box, I thought. And um, I ended up finding this box here at a the thrift store a couple months back. And it was like 15 bucks, I think. So I, I picked it up and I had an idea of what I wanted to do with it. I think it's some sort of oversized lock box slash money box. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, it's got thin material on it and uh, got it back home and I kind of thought, what can I do with this? And then I said, well, I'll just use it as like a chemical cabinet to put on the side, but I still had room to use yet. And this is kind of what it, it looked like at first when I bought it. Um, this top was on here. It just had this lid on here and kind of wanted to keep it on there, but it, yet again, it's at, a, it's at an angle and I really couldn't use that to attach it to the box. So I decided to cut that off and I had this room yet in here and I was kind of thinking what I should do with it. And uh, like I had just previously mentioned, I kept my 
power tools in this bottom drawer of the box and I kind of wanted to change that. So inside here, it's got a divider in here. So all I did was just take a die grinder and cut this open with the Harbor Freight and got a power strip magnet one. So that sits in there. I cut three slits inside that divider. So my two chargers up here, my Bauer and my Milwaukee sit up here all the time and the cords run through here and they're hidden in the back between that divider and then they run through and then they get plugged in to the uh, power strip, obviously you can see. Um, I had to do some measuring and I thought it was pretty fortunate that when I found the power strip, it was the same width to get it inside there. The only thing was the power cord coming out of that to plug into the wall came out the side and it wouldn't allow me to fit that inside between the sides here. So I just had to reroute that power cord coming out of the top and then that cord runs in the back there along with the other two and then it runs out the back. I got a grommet back there and then um, during the summer this box usually gets moved into the bigger portion of the garage and I just got to plug into it and I got powered. So it's kind of like a charging station slash chemical cabinet. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this drawer here, or this shelf here yet. I just had some stuff that I needed a home port to go with too so I just threw it in there for now. But uh, yeah, I like how it turned out. Threw some LED lights in there and Turned out pretty well. Um, it's nice and light, doesn't take much weight to put on the side here. So, when I cut the top off here, I just cut an extra three quarters to an inch longer. Um, and then I just took that seaming tool and I just started making a lip here. That's how it's attached to the box. I mean, I could just pull it right off if I wanted to. So, that's that. Uh, just a little layout of what I have here. It's my little workshop in here. I got a two car garage, heated, which is really nice. It's been a cold winter and I've had that thing running. I, today's actually the first day I've had it off. It's about 45 degrees out so I can keep the door open for once. And um, race car usually sits over there. I got my bike tucked away for the winter yet over there. But yeah, nice two car garage. And I got this little kick out over here. Between my wife and I, this is kind of the selling point for me when I bought the house. Um, I was told that this used to be a hot tub room and the window over there was actually a sliding door and the, I'm guessing the previous owner who I bought it from put a wall up in a window and busted this opening up right here so it's all accessible now from the garage. But it's got a drill press. It's my grandpa's I just got from my dad. He wasn't using much so I Got that from him and I got a nice little stand I got from St. Vinny's, threw it on top of there. It's got clamps there and bench grinder. Got my uh, creepers hung up on the wall. I think I'm gonna change that over, but uh, Harbor, or I'm sorry, my hardware bins on the wall right there and larger one there. Older Craftsman box that just sits on, I just got some random stuff in there. Nothing special to see. Um, Harbor Freight uh, air compressor. I had yeah, one of them cheap oilless motors on it and it didn't work worth a shit so I just took my old motor off my smaller one and threw it on top of there. But uh, yeah, I got that there. Larger blow gun sitting on the side of that cabinet. My dog. Workbench. Big cabinet for everything else to go into. So my little setup here at home works well for me for what I do. Thanks for watching.